What time it is? It's time for another mother. Frrr. Damn, I didn't get that one out. Fucking. <laughs> now, yo. Um, I feel like this is a good topic. I just did a quick video on Twitter about it, but I'm gonna really, really dive into this. So I want y'all to really listen to this. So, um, I call this the Dame Dash effect. So I don't know if you guys remember, but Dame Dash had went on the Breakfast Club a while ago, and he was basically talking to uh, Charlemagne, Envy, and Ye about owning your own stuff you know you guys already built your buzz you you have the following stop working for the, the 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 people above you and go create your own go get your own and what did they do they basically laughed him off or they looked at him like he was crazy and i remember seeing uh certain people um saying Oh, Dame is so bitter. What is Dame talking about? This is why Dame's in the position he's in now. Instead of them uh, taking the stuff, taking his advice to heart and saying, yo, you know what? This guy's actually speaking facts. Now, not everybody was saying that, but there was a lot of people I remember on Twitter. And what I realized is this happens to us creators. You know, we get shunned when we say things like this, or people look at look at us as if we got three heads, as opposed to being encouraged and being, you know, getting that good push like, yeah, bro, you could do that. Nah, when you say things like, yo, I'm gonna create my own platform, I'm gonna create my own app. Bro, how you gonna do that? You ain't got the money or you ain't got this. And that's what, you know, deters a lot of us. But what I realized is, Yo, us as creators, bro, we have to do this. We have to start our own stuff. Because if you look at these platforms, what they do is they take advantage of us. They use us to build them up. And once we build them up, they bail on us. And it, 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 it's, we don't really need you guys anymore. You guys already built us up. So forget your suggesting, suggestions and ideas and uh, what we once did to create a healthy, uh, uh, crazy platform that you love, we're just going to do what we want to do now. And that's the crazy part. And I look at Joe Buttons, you know, Joe Buttons had this amazing, amazing podcast. And y'all know me, I'm always very critical of Joe, but I feel like on this podcast, he was talking. Like talking that talk. And it was about the whole Spotify thing. And he was trying to correct Charlemagne, basically saying to Charlemagne, like, yo, bro, we're not fighting the same fight. We are not fighting the same fight. You're over here trying to work, work and be a worker be your whole life. I'm over here, you know, fighting for something bigger. I'm trying to own my own stuff so I could put on other people to, to the game of how I own my stuff. I'm not going to sit there and let Spotify own me and own my content. And they're going to be telling me what I need to put out, uh, the ads I need to put on my show. It's my show. I call the shots. And a lot of people, you well, Charlemagne in particular was sitting there, you know, passing judgment on Joe like, Yo, you you messing up that Spotify bag. Are you kidding me, bro? Like you, the, and that's what we do, yo. We always sit there and and we try to tell our 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 next uh brother or whatever, yo, bro, be a worker bee. Be a worker bee for the rest of your life, bro. Just work, just work, just work. Don't own anything. It's like I be talking about this stuff in my music, bro. When I say the Diddies and the Jay Z's, how you think they got to be the Diddies and Jay Z's by sacrificing, taking those risks, bro? If we sit there and every time somebody tries to come up like a Joe Buttons or something, we 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 chastise them for their moves. Um, when it's when it's not uh, warranted, then we're never gonna get any more Jay Z's or Diddy's. You know when like 
and I've been very critical of Joe Buttons, but I've always been critical and I feel like, in my opinion, it's been warranted. Like when 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 he, when I see him possibly cooning on loving hip hop, I feel like, come on, bro, you better than that. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not saying I'm perfect, but if it, if I feel like the criticism is 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 legit, I'ma give it. In this particular situation, I feel like Joe was a hundred percent on on point with everything he's saying, especially when he's directing his energy at Charlemagne, because Charlemagne is one to talk. This guy has been a worker forever. Him, Angela Yee, and I guess. Envy's like, yo, I'm already up. My bag is already good, so I don't mind doing that. But even then, I'm like, yo, bro, if you got the, the bag and the money and you can actually, you know, level up, why not? Why continue to be a worker, bro, for these people that don't care about you? You know what I'm saying? When, that, when, when your content stops being hot, they'll strip that away from you so fast that it's not even funny. And all that work you done put in, all that grind of building them up to being the number one station, all that goes out the window. That means absolutely nothing to these people. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna pat you on the back like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little, uh, a little uh, leeway for you. <laughs> Got something in my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck is it, man? I'm gonna have a little leeway for you, and uh, I let you. I let you. You know, I'm a. I'm a. I'm gonna give you some leeway to, 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 to get us back to that number one spot. No, it's like up. Uh, you gotta go. We, we're on to the next. And and I I just feel like yo Joe Button's podcast. Um, to wrap it up, please go watch that. These are the things that I put in my music. This these are the things I talk about to y'all. Whether it's controversy for, and I'm, I'm constantly trying to embed these messages in, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna watch. I'm telling you, yo, for the people that follow me, please continue to, because when I get my platform, and like I, you seen, I created GrizzyHendrick.com, but I really want to create like a real platform where the creators are allowed to say what they want to say. Long as you're not doing harm to anybody, speak whatever truth you want to speak without being shadow banned or, you know, uh, put in Twitter jail or some dumb stuff like that. You want to get naked? You want to put pornos out? Do you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or, or only thing is, it'll be like, you know, some, this is for adult. This is adult content. You feel what I'm saying? Like any other thing. But yeah, go check out that Joe Button um, podcast and let me know what y'all think if you watch the whole blog I just did.